Whether you have started working from home or are considering working from home, some prerequisites need to be fulfilled for your home-based business to be successful. Working from home has a lot of benefits, such as no commuting, flexible schedule, and home comfort, but there are some crucial things to know about it before you consider transitioning from an office job to working from home. For one, it should be legal. Your city or the area where you live may have imposed some restrictions on people trying to start a business from their homes. Some require meetings with a lot of clients, and if you think a lot of clients will be coming to your house for meetings, it may pose a problem if your city or homeowners do not allow it. So make sure it is legal in your city for you, for you to pursue it. You will have to put in more of your time. It is a common misconception that working from home would mean you have to work less because no one is watching over you. But that a traditional office environment and having the advantage of no clocking out time, remote workers generally tend to work overwork if they lose track of time. Working from home, having your own business might require you to work more hours than you would if you were working a job. The work is all on you. There is no one else helping you. Technical difficulties may slow you down at times. It is a fact that you will have to face technical difficulties while you're working in an office-based job. But if you are remote working, you will have to get accustomed to having to face more technical challenges than the former. At an office, someone is there to fix the issues. But with you working from home, you have to deal with the issues yourself. Using different software you are not used to can be challenging, especially when you, they are not working correctly. Internet and power failure will also pose to be a problem if you don't have any backups for them. Taxes may not apply to you the same way. Working from home means that you will probably be taxed differently than before. You can be either an employee working under someone from home or a freelancer, and you will need to fulfill certain criteria to be able to subtract home office or business expenses from your taxes. Before you set up your home office, consulting a tax professional is advisable so you know the exact ins and outs on how to pay your taxes. Balancing work and family will not be easy. While you're trying to balance working from home and maintaining time with your family under the same roof, setting boundaries may become difficult. Working in an office removes the responsibility from you having to balance it yourself as it balances it for you. But working from home means you'll have to set your schedule accordingly. Some days you will need to give more of your time to your work, and on some days you will have to give more of your time to your family. Getting all your work done and giving your family the required attention is up to you. Make sure your family knows when not to interrupt you, and make sure you also know when to stop working. You will have to face more distractions than you can think. Having no one checking up on you while you work to see you staying up to speed may seem like a blessing, but having to keep a constant check on yourself is not as easy as it seems. Social media, chores, and general activities around the house may call for you more often while working from a home-based office, and to stay focused is entirely your job. As seen, home working jobs sound like they would be more relaxed, but they require real effort to be made to be successful.